What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we have Melanie riding her crazy cart. She just did a little burnout right here. Um, I don't know what that was about, but yeah, she's enjoying her crazy cart. There's just a couple of things we have to address. Um, the first thing being that she is a little too short for it. Um, Melanie, come here. Huh? So as you can see, there's like this giant space behind her. Um, because she has to sit in the front of the seat. So there's no way to move the seat up uh, like in its factory form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna custom make a bracket to be able to move the seat up. Um, I went to Home Depot and I picked up uh, some metal right here. So I'm gonna weld up a little bracket to be able to move her seat up. And uh, I think maybe give it a little bit of height to it. Um, you know just to be custom she's little so a little bit more height and a little farther forward would i think suit her perfectly so we're gonna work on that today used to it yeah. all right stop go <laughs> that thing just takes off with her so Melanie only weighs about 40 pounds and the weight limit on that one although I said I wanted to use it um, it's 140, so she's like 100 pounds under the limit, so that thing flies with her. Um, I raced her in mine against her in hers, and she just smoked me. The thing is just fast, like when she presses the pedal all the way down, like it just puts her back into the seat. I can, I can beat everyone. Yeah, she it. can beat everyone in it. So this is what she's been having to do right now is getting just a little pillow off the couch and putting it behind her so she has something to rest her back on but we're because gonna when get I, when I don't have pillows in my back can hurt yeah like it can be sore yeah gonna... so my we're mom, gonna take care of that today about it like a, like a other day it can be like comfy i'm like i love comfy when i'm comfy <laughs> i love chilling when i'm comfy yeah but yeah she's had to put this on the back um, there's four bolts that hold the seat down so I mean I would have to bring the front of it up to probably this line right here so about that much is like the space that she leaves behind her so I'm gonna have to see how I can make something you know custom for her but I think we should be able to knock it out so I'm gonna wait till she's done riding her cart to start working on it Mel, you think you're cool with your sunglasses? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're cool? Yeah. You look like that emoji, right? With the sunglasses. Oh, you're a character? Mm-hmm. I got some sand here drying because uh, I was trying to put it into the sand blaster, but it's wet, so... And then I put some silica gel packs while it was in the bag and it didn't absorb anything. Um, so I just put it out on this big piece of metal to, you know, out in the sun to dry. Because I figured if it dries on the beach, it should dry here, right? So we'll find out. All right, so it started raining outside, so we're doing everything indoors. But I'm just going to take these four bolts out and then see what I need to do. So the plan is to have the seat up here, like I said, on that line, but also I want to raise it like two inches, like around there. So I'm gonna cut this into, or I'm gonna cut four two inch pieces out of this, and then we'll start seeing how we can fab a little bracket up. 
All right, so I got four two inch pieces lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I got these nice and grinded down. So now onto the seat. It looks like I need eh, about five inches. Um, I'm gonna cut seven inch tabs off of this, uh, one for each side. And then we will measure what we need for the bridges here. And we should be good to go. So as you guys can see, I did the two uh, bars right here. I cut them and I put the bolts through them uh, Just to be sure now I went ahead and Marked this for the bottom section right here So I know I have enough and then for the top I Marked it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut then I'll mold it on there and these are the spacers that will uh, space out the seat from the frame on the crazy cart so it'll sit up a little higher. I went ahead and cut these down a little bit so that one's gonna go there and then this one will go right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and then we'll get started on the bottom section. All right guys, so here it is. Um, so I was using this tubing and I got it out of the plumbing section and apparently it can't be welded. So I had to run to the store today and get some of 
this weldable tubing so got it all on there right now what I'm doing is I'm adding these uh, rib nuts in so I can bolt it from the bottom and we should be good after that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the last one in and then test fit it Alright, so here is the final product. Uh, I grinded a couple pieces down and the edge is smooth just for two reasons. One, so it could look a little prettier and one to shave as much weight as I can because I don't want it to be, you know, too heavy. But it's going to sit right, right there. So it's going to sit like that and then the seat will go on top of it. So I'm just going to uh, drill the holes down here and bolt it on from the bottom and we'll be good to go all right so i just put toothpaste on the bottom of the bracket and now i know where i have to do all the four holes all right guys and there you have it so as you can see the bracket is on there and got four bolts on the bottom here so now it's time to test drive all right melanie sit on it Comfy? Yeah. Is it on? No. You can ride it. Try it out. All right, guys. So there you guys have it. Um, it was a fun little project for me and Mel. Um, I got to do some fab work, which I love doing, and she gets. A more comfortable ride so it's a win-win for both of us I know right now it's bare metal um, but our next project is painting a whole bunch of stuff on it so that's gonna get painted real soon I just wanted her to test it out real quick before I you know waste some paint on it but everything is good so we're gonna go ahead and start painting everything probably this weekend so that's gonna be another fun project for us but yeah hopefully you know you guys learned how to make a little bracket at home if you have little kids and you know they have a hard time either reaching the pedal or they're you know too far back and too low so what I did was I moved it forward and up so Melanie says really comfortable on it but yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas